It was obvious from the beginning of this week that a push would be made to install the remaining column bases. Some of the material removed made its way to the west wall, where the exterior was being built up. Even as work on the floor continued, new bases for the columns were being excavated. A combination of excavation and building up the external walls kept the excavators busy. Deliveries of sand gave a hint of work to come. And GFL returned to remove groundwater. None of these activities did very much to impress thirsty neighbours. It's quite easy to forget that daylight savings time plunges construction workers into darkness again in the morning. But colder, darker starts to the day don't affect the pace or quality of work on this site. Reassembled reinforcing rod structures are needed for every pier and pillar base and the telehandler makes the job of delivering them much easier. In another clear sign that work on the site is entering a new phase, one of the larger excavators departed on Tuesday morning. On the south wall, work was underway to prepare a trench to accommodate a new conduit for a bell cable that currently snakes across the site. The work went quickly and before long, sand delivered the day before was being brought across to line the trench. As the day progressed, we said goodbye to a second excavator. By day's end, a third equipment, a roller compactor, had also departed the site. Wednesday brought near perfect conditions for a big concrete pour. With the pumper primed, after a few final preparations, everything was a go on the east wall. Concrete pours always demonstrate the importance of teamwork and an important part of the team are the finishers. A 
as the pour continued, a telehandler brought out the tarps that will be used eventually to shroud the curing concrete. Across the site, preparations continued for concrete to come. With everything else going on, it would be easy to overlook the fact that the conduit run on the south and west walls was going very well. As we passed midday, the pumper took up a position from which he could service several of the piers. When the pumper departed, a succession of concrete trucks ensured a steady supply of the vital ingredient. With a significantly limited turning radius, it can be a challenge to get the trucks back to some of the sites, but these drivers are professionals and always get the job done. As each truck arrives with a fresh load, the driver has to set up and prepare to deliver. Proper positioning becomes second nature, making the whole process easier. Every pour finishes with the fresh concrete covered to cure. During the day, the laying of the bell conduit was completed. That allowed the Komatsu excavator involved to depart the site. Wednesday also saw the departure of a skid steer machine and a smaller excavator. Thursday provided the opportunity to see how well the new conduit has been prepared to accept the bell cable. The true focus of the day though was to see just how many of the remaining piers and pillar bases would be prepared to receive concrete by the end of the week. By every measure, by the end of the day, the team from DAC Forming produced a really strong result. Whilst the carpenters from DAC were very busy all day, a crew from GFL serviced both of the water storage tanks on site. With concrete expected, the first few hours on Friday were hectic, preparing as many forms and bases as possible. The fact that an enormous amount had been achieved the day before was clearly evident, just looking around the site. But there was always more to be done. We can take a moment out to look down and see just how many of the forms were prepared in one row.
you can reflect too on the precision with which each and every one is placed. When the concrete comes, after appropriate preparation, it comes thick and fast. Once the team gets into the swing of it, the pace is relentless. The job isn't over until all the piers and columns are appropriately tarped to cure. Before we leave we should note that the last bulldozer and the roller compactor both departed the site on Friday. Thanks for watching this update and please consider subscribing.